Hi, I'm John. And I'm Lou. Hey, what are we doing right now? This is the CVE of the week. It's Friday, July 18th, and this is the IT Sparkcast CVE of the week, where we pick a common vulnerability and exposure entry that you need to know about and how to mitigate ASAP. Now, we've got an interesting one today, especially if you're running some older SonicWall gear. So the SonicWall SMA100 series of firewalls have a backdoor expo uh, exploitation. And while there's no CVE explicitly noted, we do believe based on some, some Google research that there are some known vulnerabilities attached to it and they may have been leading to this. So I will list those off. These are some older vulnerabilities that, um, that have been patched, but they still lead to this. So those are our CVE 2021-20038. CVE 2024-38475, CVE 2021-20035, CVE 2021-20039, and CVE 2025-32819. So is what's happening? Being, well, what's going on with this right now? Some of these are pretty old. What's happening? So Some of these are pretty old, but uh, hackers are actively exploiting fully patched SonicWall 100 firewall, SM, SMA 100 firewalls using stolen one-time passwords. One-time so passwords again? Yeah. So we talked about this earlier uh, in the week when, we, when it came to Ruckus. So these are one-time password seeds, and they're using stealthy backdoor tools called OneStep. So this malware, which was reported out on the 16th of this, uh, this month, so July 16th, 2025, if you're watching this a little bit in the future, to rewrite boot scripts, hide logs, and steal credentials, and then persist through reboots. No specific vulnerability patch exists at this time. They're leveraging uh, the stolen credentials and using novel backdoor techniques. So what so, does SonicWall say we need to do? <laughs> so most of the SMA 100 devices are end of sale. Now, end of sale typically does not mean end of support. Usually a manufacturer will give a year or two or more of support, meaning we'll give you some sort of security patches for some period of time after a device goes end of sale. So some of these devices have been end of sale for a while, but some just went end of sale within the last few weeks. So there's SonicWall's advice support. is upgrade to the newest hardware. So buy, buy, <laughs> so buy the newest hardware. Uh, you can go to their website uh, right now and you can look at, uh, what they're saying, and that that's their current response. And it, it, it's not a great response. At least they are responding, but they're saying that they'll they'll be reaching out to customers over the next few weeks. And yeah, they will so be, try not to get hacked. Try not to get hacked right weeks. now, you know, like, yeah. Uh, so, I don't know, turn off your firewalls? I don't know. What, 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 uh, but So, my advice is go find a better firewall vendor. Yeah, you know, this so, is not acceptable. This is not acceptable, and we're we're, we're seeing more and more of things like this. We talked about this uh, on the last episode when we talked about ruckus. Is that these are bad, bad responses? It's okay to not. I mean, it's not okay to not have a fix, but it's understandable to not have a fix immediately if you get surprised by this. But your if your response is upgrade your hardware to the newest piece, first of all, that's not a fast fix. That's not something I can, you know, I, I could have, if I have, what do I have a hundred of these? I can't deploy a hundred new pieces of hardware and get them configured and tested and, de and deployed overnight. This is, that's not, that's not an acceptable answer. So tell me what port I need to block. Tell me what interface I need to do turn something. Off. Tell me some sort of feature. Tell me to put another firewall in front of my firewall that blocks something. Fix the problem now, upsell later. Uh, absolutely. And and as somebody that's spent money with them, you need to be demanding this. And you need to be pounding your fist on the desk and screaming at them. And at the same time, be looking at other vendors because this is the this is burning me, you know, as a customer in a way that I don't want to be burned again. And they if they're not if they're giving you a runaround in an issue like this. What's the next time they're going to give you a runaround? Now, that being said, I want to hear from you. Are you getting a better answer than what I'm hearing? Are you getting Sonic while saying, no, no, we've got a, we've got a workaround for you. You've got this. You've got this. Please tell us. Yeah. Uh, and when like I get to the account feedback, team you've talked to that right. gave you a different story, we'd like to get the real story out there. We did a lot of digging on this. 
And if, if I do get that kind of feedback from somebody that, yes, your account team is giving you that, I will immediately turn around a short video and I'll po post it immediately as soon as I get that and put that up on our channel because I don't want to be passing uh, misinformation. But as far as I can tell, that's not happening at this point. But speaking of feedback, we are going to wrap this episode. And we did have a listener to the show, Mike, who's been listening to us for a while. He sent us some email regarding the Ruckus Comscope fiasco that we talked about earlier in the week. Yes. And he did mention that that Ruckus and Comscope finally did actually respond to some degree because we had said that at the time of our recording, they had not responded. But Nothing. as we were going to air, they actually did post a security bulletin on their website. So we had an overlap there where they did respond as we were posting our video. But that security I, update? What I'm going to read it directly that? and I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on the, the screen at the same time. The security vulnerability just basically says it's been reported uh, by CC Cert that Ruckus Smart Zone Controller and Ruckus Network Director contains a number of critical vulnerabilities. If exploited, these vulnerabilities may allow remote unauthorized attackers to gain shell access to the affected devices. Ruckus is actively investigating in order to validate the report, and we will provide updates when new information becomes available. Uh, we would like to recognize and thank uh, the people that found the issue. And that's it. So Can I translate still, that? Uh, he's like, oops. Is Hi, that, you're screwed. Right. You're looking into it. Have a nice day. So, so I do want to thank Mike for, for providing that information to us so that, that we are clean and clear with what was communicated. And we're not saying that there was no communication, but this still isn't great communication. And if you're running Ruckus, you're still in a, in a tough spot. Um, but with that, uh, we'll, we've done enough bashing on Ruckus for, for, the, for the week. Uh, maybe we'll see more next week. Um, but that is going to strong. Please prove us wrong. Uh, but we do love feedback wrong. and please send us yours. And we, we couldn't do this episode without listeners like you and people providing us your feedback. S please send email to feedback at itsparkcast.com uh, or hit us up on X uh, at itsparkcast. And if it's particularly informational or helpful or entertaining like Mike's was, we will read it out on either our News Bites episodes or on the CBE episode, depending on where it's applicable. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, turn on notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. Uh, if you're on YouTube, leave a comment down below. We also make sure that we read every piece of feedback and every comment that we get there. Uh, so with that, we're going to turn you back to your day from the world of enterprise IT. Take care. Stay patched, stay safe, and stay frosty out there, okay? It's a tough world.